Hello everybody, Cindy here. I have a pretty large haul that I want to share with you. Um, mostly books and a few other things. Um, it's been sitting, I've had this haul for quite some time now, probably a month or so, but uh, we had left on vacation and a lot of other things. And then with my kids home from school, it's really hard for me to to film. So if you hear kids or noises, that's what's going on. So let's get started because I have a lot to show you. Now I went to an estate sale and this gentleman was a collector uh, of old vintage things. I mean it was it was fabulous going through his home. And apparently the I don't know if you're familiar with the show um, American Pickers, they were supposed to go pick his home, but the home sold before they could get there and go through it, so they didn't get to, but um, he definitely had fabulous things. So um, I went mostly for the books. He had a ton of vintage old books, so anyways, let's get started. So. I'm going to start with these. There was two of these that I found and it's the Holiday Magazine and this is the oldest one I believe. Yes. Um, and so he got this magazine and then he had them bound. Um, so I thought that was pretty Pretty cool. And so, as you saw, this is um, January through June, I think it was, of 1951. And when I opened this up and saw the advertising, I was so excited. It's kind of hard to show because this is a really big book. Um, but, you know, there's articles and stuff. I mean, how fun is that? So this is, I think, the neater of the two because it is a whole year older and I just like some of the advertisements better. Sorry. Um, so there's this one. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on them because I have a lot to show. Um, and this is this holiday and this is July through December of 1966. And I think I paid a dollar for this book. Yes, they were very reasonable. Um, let's see if I can find some of the advertising. I mean, they're neat. That's fun. I don't know, the, the other one, the other book, I don't know, I think the advertising was neater. So, anyways, there's some neat advertising in here. Oops, that's my weather radio. <laughs> I live in Oklahoma. Never know when that's going to go off. I don't know if you can hear it, but. <clears throat> okay, and then, um, let's see, I didn't get that there. He had just a ton of Norman Rockwell books. So, this is just one of them that I did pick up. There was quite a few. And even as a kid, I loved Norman Rockwell. So whether I use these images or just sit and admire his artwork, I don't know, but um, I love Norman Rockwell. So I got that book. Um, and then this one was, oh, I was so excited when I found this one. The Courier and Ives. Um, it is pretty trash. Now, this guy did a lot of um, thrifting himself because I found receipts in the books of, of some of the thrift stores around town where he bought the books. So, I thought that was pretty funny. But, so this one is really neat. It just has all these images from Courier and Ives. Uh, 
let's see here. Okay, here's the date. I'm not any good with the Roman numerals, so. Uh, let's see if I say inside. 1942 is the copyright. But um, there's just, it's full of images. I think I squealed when I found this one. <laughs> now the cover is not in great shape, but the inside is not bad. So, pretty neat find there. Okay, and then there was this one. Book of Interior Decoration, which is always fun. And I just thought this would make some good envelopes or just a bigger page to put into a journal. Plus they're fun to look at. <laughs> the old style. The old furniture, the wallpaper. So there was that one. And, and then this one I thought was pretty neat. Renoir and Matisse. Just a lot of their art which is always fun to look at, but then I'll probably pull apart this and use them in my journals. But it's a big book, so there's that one. Okay, and then I picked up some books that I wanted to use to actually make journals with, the actual book itself. So there's this one. I just really love the cover. It's not in the best shape but I still think it's pretty, so. Um, this one is really old. I didn't buy it for the cover, obviously. But they had some, this paper I really like, and the graphics are really cool. So. And then there was this one. This I didn't buy to necessarily use. I think this had some, yeah. Just some, I like the graphs and the that kind of thing. So this will be fun to use. But these I bought for the covers. And I knew that they were the same book, but they are a different year. This one's older. And I like the cover. We For our vacation, we went to the beach this year, so I thought I could use this to make a journal, but I made something else, so I'll just save this for a different time. Um, I just thought the book cover was just gorgeous. So, and it has some really neat images inside too, so I will use those too. So, those are pretty neat. Excited about those. So oh, sorry. <laughs> Grabbing the pole that I use. Okay, and then I found these, which are pretty cool. Ledgers. And this one is, I think it's this one, yes, is pretty full. Um, I think whoever kept this had some apartments, and this is where they kept tabs of who paid. And there are a few blank pages in the back, so that one's neat. And then this one's neat too, but there wasn't a whole lot of papers left in this one. A few. But I just like the covers too. Okay. And then, one of the reasons why I went was the magazines. I saw that this person had a ton of magazines. And so I picked up a few. Uh, this true... True, the man's magazine is pretty darn cute, um, and the advertising is great. Sorry, not in frame. Um, so, and then I thought it was funny because each page had a page, each magazine had a fold out of a a woman sitting nicely. <laughs> so. I thought it was pretty cute. Probably risque back in the day. Let's see, what is the year on this? 1946. So, 
that one I got, and I got this one. This is 1947. I liked the cover of this one. This one is 46 also. And then they had some good housekeeping. So I picked up what was left. I didn't go the first day. I, I When somebody has that much stuff, I usually wait and go on the day that is half price. So that's what I did. And this is what was left, which I think is a good majority of what they had of the good housekeeping. And, and they gave me a special deal on these, so I was excited. And let's see here. This is 52. Um, and just the advertisings are so much fun. Advertisements. And, oh, I love this. This is so cool. So... Pretty excited about finding some of these, and there's still some left. So I've got this one, and this one. This is 52. Uh, this is 53. And this is 53 also. I just love the covers. Oh, this one is adorable. This is 53. And then this is a different one. This is the American. And let's see if there's a date on here. 1938. Oh, wow. I guess I didn't realize that that one was so old. Is that true? Wow. Hmm. September 1938. Wow, that's cool. I guess I didn't realize the date on this one. Um, and then there was this one that didn't have the cover. And this is a Harper's Magazine. And this is 1950. Which is pretty neat. Okay, and then he had a ton of Saturday evening posts. Um, but they wanted... Ten dollars per magazine. So I wanted a couple because I've always loved this, and I loved it when Norman Rockwell did the covers. Um, so I picked up a few. So I picked up this one, and I got them on half price. So I paid five dollars for each magazine. I asked if they would swing me a deal if I bought more, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't budge on those, which is funny because the following weekend, I think, I got an email that they were going to hold it another day and things were going to go 75% off. And I would have went. We were, had left town, so otherwise I would have gone and picked up a few more of these magazines, which is a bummer. But So I got this one, this one, and this one. I just picked up three. So, those were the magazines I picked up. Okay, and then, let's see here. Got some smaller books. These were neat. Uh, these are poems. The Milton Minor poems. And... I like to cut out poems and put them in with my stuff. So, And plus I thought the book was really cute to make a small journal. And this one's kind of beat up, but it's pretty cool. And this is by, or, um, the book is about Ivanhoe. And this is 1906 on it. And the guy who had it did some artwork in here. It's pretty neat. Um, I don't know... what the actual date of this book is. And I don't think I could find it earlier. So, I don't know. The guy who wrote in here was from 1906. So, there was that one. And then this one on Sir Roger de Coverley. And these were just 
you know, studies that the kids would read. 1909 again. And this I loved. And Henry Van Dyke and the story of the other wise men. Um, this one's old. This is 19, or I'm sorry, 1899 is the copyright on there. I don't know if it's focusing, but um, it's a pretty neat book. It's old. Um, I bought it because I thought this would be a really neat journal. Just another book with poems to cut out and use. And then here's one of these readers that I love to pick up when I find them because I love the images. Look at that. So, picked up that. And then a few more other children's books that I got. This one I loved the cover, even though it is kind of beat up there. I didn't care. <laughs> um, let's see here. This one is 1928. It's the copyright. And it's just some great stories. And it's funny. I was having trouble with my six six year old going to bed. It's toward the end of the school year. And I saw this poem. I was flipping through it. And I saw this poem. I'll let you read it. And so I was reciting this to her. So she would go. It's pretty funny. She thought it was funny. So. So there's that one. And this one. And there's some good images in there. This one was pretty neat. Nursery Friends from France. Let's see. Copyright on this one. 1952. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it was a neat book. Now, I mean, I think I paid a dollar for this book, so it's not like I paid a ton of money. So there was that one, and then these are really neat. I have never seen these before. So this is book one and book two. I don't know if there's any more. This is what I found. But it's the cover is it's like embossed or whatever carved. It's really, really neat. Um, that's the cover pages. It's just a really, really neat book. Okay, so the year on this is 1943. 1943. Renewed copyrights on them. But it's pretty neat. So, lots of doors closing. Sorry if you hear all that. So there was book one and then book two. Pretty, pretty cool. Love those images. Oops, looks like somebody was drawing. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so those are neat. I might have to make this a two-parter because seriously, I have a lot to show you. Okay, so these are the binders that I found. I found this sewing one. Um, and like I said, I went like on the, the last day and it was toward the end of the day so I can't imagine how much stuff that was bought already so I don't know this must be new because there's a plastic thing in there but this is a sewing book in pretty good shape so I thought 
thought was pretty neat. I've never found one of these before. Okay. And then I found this Kodak book, reference book. And it's all, it's a nice book. Nice book, the way it's bound. Um, I don't know if there's a date on here. I'm sure there is, but I haven't looked. Um, 1950? Yes, 1951. 1951. So, I just thought it was a pretty neat book. So, found that one. Did find a... A homes and Garden Cookbook. It is kind of falling apart here, but it's fine. I like for these pages and just the inside pages I like too. So, so that one's fun. And then this Better Homes and Garden Handyman's book. And this is in pretty good shape. Let's put that in there. I don't know why. So I think I have found one other. This is my second one of these, but I still think they're neat books, so I picked it up. Okay. Okay, and then I found these. These were pretty neat. It's my daughter, if you hear her. She... Making a little bit of noise, sorry. Okay. Found these books. There was five of them. I don't have... They weren't all there, but... Book two looks like is missing, but I love the covers. So, and they have great images in them. And then there was this one. And those images are so cool. I just love them. Four. Six. Now, I didn't. Sorry if I'm going really fast. Um, let's see, copyright on this is 1952. So, oh, book five. So, those are pretty neat. I was excited when I saw those. Okay. Now, I think that, um, oh, no, I got some up here, sorry. Okay, so, and then, okay, so, I, th I think I have a few more books from that sale, but um, now they're kind of mixed in with another haul that I did. Um, my daughter and I went to my favorite thrift store, and they were having fill a bag for $5 books. And so, yeah, I filled a few bags. So, <laughs> so these are going to be mixed in too. So I found this, which it's not old, but I loved these. You can cut them out and use them on projects. So I was pretty excited when I saw that. There was that one. And let's see here. This was at the fill a bag. This isn't real, real old, but uh, I loved the images in here. How neat are those, huh? So, and then I did find one of these, which when I find one of these, I'm always picking them up if they're at a good price. Um, because they have fabulous images in there. And I love birds, so. Pick that up. And then they had this one kind of landscape book, which isn't terribly old, but 
I liked, I wanted the bigger pages so I, I can maybe fold and make an envelope or um, just have a bigger page to do things with. So, so that's pretty cool. I didn't look at the copyright on this. Let's look and see. This is the second printing of 1970. So, pretty cool. Okay, and then I found these. These were at the fill a bag store, which I thought these were so cool um, for knitting. I mean, look at that sweater. <laughs> it's so cool. So there was two of those, and then there was this one. And then there was this one. How fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, those are fun. Okay, moving on. I have been wanting one of these, and I finally found one. It was just sitting there staring at me. I'm like, oh yes, I want one of these. So, um, I mean, they're kind of expensive. If you go on eBay and look, they can be expensive. Now, this isn't a real, real old one. This is 1977. I looked it up. Um, but it's cool for the images and stuff. So, picked up one of those. I found a couple of these typewriter books, which these are always really cool to have for the pages. Okay. Okay, and this one was just fun. I had picked up a gnome book. Um, I don't know. It's been a little while back, but it was so cute. The images they had of the gnomes. And so when I saw this, I thought, oh, that's so cute. And they have gnome crafts you can do, build this guy. Um, but then they have these cool little images mixed in there. And I'm not going to do any crafts with the gnome, but I will use um, the pages to use in a book. So, I mean, look at that, how cute. The other book that I have is just filled with images like this, which I love. So, moving on. Found a couple ideals. Now this is Ideals Christmas. This is always a fabulous one. But this is newer. This is not real, real old. Um, let's see if I can find a year. I don't. It's always hard to find the years in these. It's there somewhere, but sometimes they put them in the back. But it's not real old, you can tell. So I found this one, and then I found this. This is a hardback, the good old days. And it's, um, let's see if this, 1994 on this one. And it's got the shiny, soft pages, but the images are still cool. I mean, you got to fill your bag for five dollars, so you shove as many things in there as you can. <laughs> Get five dollars worth. This I was pretty excited to find. Crafts and Hobbies. This is from the Reader's Digest. I have a few of these books now. Not this this one, but the, in this series. So when I found the Craft and Hobbies one, I was pretty excited. So I got that one. And then they also had the sewing one. And my daughter wants to learn to sew, so, and plus I'm always learning. So this will be a good reference book, I think. So I don't know that I'm gonna tear this apart. Um, use it more for me to learn <laughs> and my daughter. Okay, now, I have picked up a few yearbooks. <laughs> That's a shadow. Um, I just came across a really good deal um, at the thrift store 
and um, the estate sale, the one where I got all, um, where the guy had everything. So um, this one's a really neat cover. It's totally got it carved in there and everything. Um, but I just love the images, you know. So this one's got some damage on the bottom, but I just love these little images of the people. And then they got some close-ups and. So this one is 1960. This is 1957. And I have some older ones which are really neat, which I'll show you. So um, 1957, 1956. Going quickly, sorry. I just have a lot to show. Oh, there's that one. This was an earlier one, 1971. That was the year I was born. <laughs> and now you can figure out how old I am. <laughs> okay, so this is an older one. This was from the estate sale where the guy was a collector. 1927. And this is from Oklahoma City University. I live in Oklahoma, so... Um, this is a college uh, yearbook, so it is pretty, pretty cool, the images in here. I mean, just it's just so cool to see their hairstyles. Um, and they have a section in here, and I forget what they call it. The beauties. Yeah. And look at them. Hmm. Quartet. Look at those images. They're so cool. The beauties. Okay, there it is. I don't know what this was. Or. There's my weather radio again. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so that was 1927. This one's 1928. And then this is um, a bigger, really big college again, 1938. Some of the paper they used in here is just like linen. It's really pretty. Sorry. I'm shaking the camera and everything. Sorry about all the noises going on. It's just what happens, I guess, in the summer when your family's home. So, just really cool images. I need to get in and start using these. Okay, so this is 1907 to 1957. So, a lot of images to pick from. So, so there's those. Now, I have some other ones, and I don't know if I shared them with you. Um, or not, I can't remember. Seems like I did, but I'm going to share them just really quick. This is 1962. This is 1933. It's a different kind of cover. Um, again, it's just really... Oops, sorry. Look at this guy. <laughs> That was 1933. This is 1932. I mean, I could sit and look at these for hours to read about the people. And then this is 1941. Is that a one or a seven? I don't know. So. Anyways, I have a few yearbooks. I don't think I need any more.
Okay, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to pick up again and I might put these videos together or I might just do two separate.